my name is Amanda and welcome to this little haul video that I'm putting on the end of my UK vlog series. I wanted to make a separate video for you just showing you all of the things that I got while I was uh, over on holiday. By no means you don't have to watch this if you're not interested in what I got. This is just for those of you who are interested in some of the things that you can grab while you're over there. A lot of these places I was very excited to visit. A lot of the shops are ones that I had on my bucket list or on top of my to-do list to definitely, definitely go and, and see what was in there. A few other things that I've got are just, you know, general souvenirs, things that I'm going to use in everyday life and remember my lovely, lovely trip to the UK, which I just, I loved every single moment of it. So. I'm, I'm not really going to go by order of like what I got every day. I'm sort of going to show you a few things that I got while we were in London. A few of the things that we got while we were on our cruise that did a circumnavigation of the UK Isles. And then I will obviously leave the best to last. I'm going to show you all of the great things that I got from my favorite store, my favorite designer, my favorite everything, uh, Kath Kidston. I was very happy that I was able to go into three Kath Kidston stores. Uh, I wasn't planning on that. I just wanted to go to one. Uh, that one I did go into so it was just lucky that I was able to go into three but I'm going to leave all of that stuff to the end because it's my favorite thing and yeah I'm gonna make you wait for it so I'm first going to show you some of my London bits and bobs and then we'll continue on from there so let's start off with some fun little tea towels I am the tea towel queen I love tea towels because they're just awesome and I love being in the kitchen and I love using tea towels. I mean that's that's just how tragic my life is and how much of a geek I am. So I think these two we got when we were at the Eye. We went on the big huge London Eye which was very very fun. It was busy. Uh, I'm not really all that uh, great with crowds but we persevered and yeah we went on the eye and and saw all of London from a great perspective and it was lots of fun but I got this tea towel here it's just got all of the different sort of London icons on it and yeah I just thought it was really cute while we were in London we took the tube every single day we used the underground to get everywhere so I thought this tea towel here was very fitting it is a map of the London Underground. So I thought yes, that's a great little thing to um to to have. I think I might actually open it and have a look because obviously it's still in the packaging. So I haven't really been able to have a look and see what it really looks like. Let's have a look. Oh here we go. Have I got that up the right way? So that is the underground. So it's got London on one side and then the rest is the underground. So a lot of the um, stations we use are sort of concentrated in this area here. The place where we stayed was in Southwark, which is down here, down here near London. Oh, this is Southwark here, <laughs> down near London Bridge. So we use Southwark a lot, Waterloo, Green Park and Bank wherever that is. We use a lot of those stations because they sort of connect you on all of the different sort of lines and things to get you where, um, to get you to where you need to be. So while we were in London, we were very lucky that it was a time of the year when the Queen was not at Buckingham Palace. So we were able to, oh, what's that there? So we were very lucky to be able to go into Buckingham Palace and do a tour. It's the summer, so it's when they open up all of the state rooms and you can go in and have a look and it was just magnificent. I absolutely loved it. Yeah, Buckingham Palace is such a beautiful, beautiful place and if you ever get the opportunity to go then I would 100% recommend it. It's just wonderful. So obviously while we were there we went into the gift shop. I love a good gift shop and uh, I got a few things. So continuing on with the tea towel trend, I got a, a tea towel and it's this one here. Oh, it's the Queen and do ball hole style. I think it looks great. I think it's wonderful. And then down the bottom, it says the Royal Collection Trust, which is the trust that 
organizers, all of these sort of things. But I really, really love that. Uh, and I think it would be really awesome to like frame it and put it up somewhere. Whether that's actually going to happen, I don't know, but I just really like it. And then I came across this beautiful, oh, beautiful tin. You know how much I love a good tin. And this one is just gorgeous. So it's got the queen seal in the middle. It's got all of these beautiful roses and gold detail and stuff like that. So inside of this was some beautiful shortbread. Some of the most delicious shortbread I have ever eaten in my life. So if the queen is watching this, your suppliers make the best shortbread. Unfortunately, we had to eat them all because I wanted to use the tin to store all of the different little knickknacks and things that I brought. And also it was quite heavy. So we had to eat them, you know, as you do. So before I open it, one of the other things that I thought was really quite cool about this tin is around the top of the lid, it has all of the different palaces that the queen resides in. So you got Windsor, Palace of Holyrood here, which we actually did go to. I will show you what I got. Got Buckingham Palace, and then I think there's one more there. Palace of, oh no, it's the same one. So I just thought that was really quite cool. Unfortunately, we didn't get to go to Windsor Castle, but that is for the next time I go over there. So let's have a look and see what's on the inside. All of the things that are inside this tin, I didn't get at Buckingham Palace. These are all the little bits and bobs that, oh, we got while we were in in London. So we kind of went magnet crazy because magnets are light. They're easy to to pack and they didn't add any weight to our, our our luggage because that's the one thing we had to to watch not to have too much extra weight so we didn't have to pay for for heavy luggage. So this is the very very first thing that I bought when we were in London and it's a gorgeous little London bus. Look. There he is. So this is the very first souvenir that I bought and this was £3.50. If I can, I will tell you the prices as I go along. I can't remember how much I paid for the tea towels or the tin. I know that what we brought at Buckingham Palace was expensive. I also got this magnet here and it has all of the different icons um, in London. So majority of those places we actually visited. Where we stayed, we were right near the uh, Shakespeare's Globe. We were right near St. Paul's because we stayed uh, where we stayed was just opposite the Millennium Bridge. So a lot of these places we saw, we toured, we conquered. Uh, so yeah, it was really great to sort of have a magnet that had all of these landmarks on it. And we could say, oh, I've been there. Oh, I've been there. The next magnet that I got is my favourite. And I got this while we were at the Tower of London. And it's a gorgeous little beef eater. Look at him. He is adorable and he was £3.99p. This magnet here is from Hampton Court Palace. Hampton Court was one of the one places that I wanted to see and we got to go and this is what I bought and this one was £3.99. This one, I can't remember where I got this. It is another magnet with all of the London landmarks on it. And again, majority of these places we did actually go to. Another magnet, I actually didn't get this in London. I got this when we were in Inverness in Scotland. And it's just a little Scottish thistle that says Scotland on it. And I paid £2.99 for this. Back to our London thingies. My dad got me this mini lapel badge for my birthday. Because I love minis. And... My dream car is a mini. Then I got this lapel badge as well and it just says Great Britain with the Union Jack on it. And then I also got this other enamel pin. This one has a little London uh, bus on it. This one was quite pricey. I can't believe I paid that much money for it. I can't remember where I got it though. But I paid £7.50 for this. Holy moly, why did I pay so much money? In Australian that sort of equates to almost about $15 so Wow, I'm being very generous to myself. And then this is, this is actually still in the package that I got it from. This is when we visited Westminster Abbey. And I just got a couple of things from that store. First of all, I got some stickers because I love stickers. And it's got all of the different London thingies on it if it wants to focus. So all of those cool things. I don't know when I'll use them, but I will hoard them away and and find something for them. It's very lucky that uh, a lot of stores are were beginning to bring out their Christmas stuff. I don't know whether they have these 
all year round, but I got it anyway. And it's a really lovely little London bus. So this is like made out of, it's almost like a velvety type felt and it's all embroidered with like cording and stuff. So I really love it. I'm not actually not going to put this on our tree. I'm going to hang it on my cork board because I just love it. So that's everything that's in this little tin. I did keep all of our little tickets. This is when we went to Westminster Palace of Holyrood House. I'll actually show you what I got from there next. Hampton Court Palace when we went. And then when we went to Shakespeare's Globe, we did a, um, a tour around there. All of these little tickets I'm going to keep, you know, souvenir things. It's just, I'm so sentimental about these sort of things. So as promised, I said that I'll show you what I got from the Palace of Holyrood. The Palace of Holyrood is in Edinburgh. So this was sort of like near the end sort of week of our trip. So we sort of jumped a couple of weeks, but that's okay. There's only a few things in here that I got. So Holyrood Palace is the palace that the Queen uses when she's in Edinburgh. I just got a couple of things from there. First was some chocolate. This is mint dark chocolate. This one was £3.95. Another tea towel. I told you I am the queen of tea towels. This one here, uh, it actually has a picture of what it looks like on the back. So it just says God save the queen and I paid £8.95 for this. And then I got another one of these little tree decoration thingies. But this time I got a little queen's guard that has the, the flag on it. So he's sort of made out of the same materials, like a velvety felt type thing and yeah i just thought it was really cool these things were a little bit expensive this one was 12 pound 95 so you know that's getting close to almost 25 dollars for us so this one is going to hang up on my cork board along with my boss because he's too special to be put on the tree and then hoarded away for the rest of the year and then be forgotten about so he's going to be on display oh yeah let's do a few a few other things that i got from london let's have a look at liberty yeah, let's do Liberty. So Liberty was one of the stores that I really, really wanted to go to. Liberty is like a really, really old school, like department store in London. It's got like this mock Tudor, or is it Tudor? I'm not sure. I actually think it is Tudor. It's like a Tudor type storefront and inside is all wooden and old and it's just amazing. And they are also really well known for their prints. Um, so their fabrics and lawns and stuff like that. So I was very lucky to be able to visit that store with my lovely friend Aisha, who lives in the UK. She's never been to Liberty either, so we sort of went together and ex uh, experienced it together. So we went straight up to the fabrics and, you know, touched and felt and, you know, swooned over it. I sort of did a when in Rome type purchase because this is very expensive and I was like you know I'm just gonna get it so I got this fat quarter bundle of all of these beautiful Liberty prints so like there's a grey one and that one and that one there that one. Oh, that's quite nice this one here that one and that one if you weren't counting because i wasn't one two three four five six seven eight there's eight little fat quarters in there and i paid 39 pound and 95p for this which is close to 80 dollars 80 dollars for this bundle so that's why i was all like when in rome let's just get it because i was I was umming and ahhing and I was like, you know, I am standing in the middle of Liberty, in the middle of London. When am I ever going to have this opportunity to buy beautiful Liberty fabric? Uh, and it's a beautiful, beautiful quality quilting cotton. So, I, you know, I just, I just, I just got it. I was just like, no, nah, stop faffing and buy it. So I did. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to put it in the stash with a couple of other bundles that I am too scared to to use and yeah we'll find something for it maybe I don't know yet oh, it's too scary so luckily for us very very luckily Liberty had already opened up their Christmas floor or space 
section. So we were able to walk in this beautiful winter wonderland and look at all of their lovely Christmas decorations. So I bought two. They were all in bubble wrap, but then my nephews got to, to everything and, and destroyed the bubble wrap. So I have to be really quite careful. I absolutely loved this bauble. It says Liberty on it and it has lots of lovely holly on it. It's all glittery and lovely. And I paid £7.95 for this. And then I also picked up this one. I think it was Aisha that pointed this out to me first. And she's also brought one as well so that we have the same uh, little decoration on our tree every year. And it's the it's sort of like a storefront and it says Liberty London and it has all the icons and things on it. So it's the same on both sides and it's sort of like a metal uh, type uh, decoration. This one we paid £8.95 so we both have one and yeah it also remind us of the, the lovely day that we spent together. I absolutely loved being in that store and oh man I could just spend a fortune in there. I mean I already did but I could spend more I think. Okay let's move on to Harrods. So Harrods also had all of their Christmas stuff as well. They have like two Christmassy bits so the first one that we went to was like the designer Christmassy bit with all the one-off sort of things. And then we went down to the Harrods gift store that has all of the things with all the Harrods brand on it. So that's where I got my stuff from. The first thing I picked up was this Christmas bauble. So this one says uh, Harrods 2019. I thought that was really cool as a reminder of you that we went. Then this one is fragile. Again, this one was in bubble wrap, but you know, nephews. So this one is a very special Christmas one too. It's called the London Dome and it has all of the different London icons in it and it says Harrods. So it's got the bath and... Is that the actual Harrods store or is it St Paul's? I think it could be Harrods, obviously. London Eye, the Shard, and then the Gherkiny thing. Yeah, I just really love that. It is glass, so I'm so glad that this lasted. I actually got here in one piece. I paid £13 for this and this bauble, it was £10, which is like crazy. And then I could not go past going into Harrods and not getting a beautiful mug I saw these and I was like, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Look. Look at this lovely, lovely mug. Yes. Oh, it's lovely. And then it's got Harrods on the inside too. I just read the little, there's a little label here telling me what it is. I actually didn't read that. It's decorated with 22 karat gold. Oh, that's why it costs so much. And it's a fine bone china made in England. So I paid 17 pounds for this which is like over $30 for a mug, but it is so beautiful. I'm in two binds of whether I'm actually going to use it or I'm going to just, you know, like store it away in a cupboard. Or, well, you know, like display cupboard. I think I actually might do that because I'm really scared I'm going to break it, but I really love the size of it. It's like a really great mug. What can I say? Let's move on to... The Disney store. So there's not a lot in this bag. I did buy more stuff at a Disney store in Liverpool, but that was all just gifts, which I've already sort of given away. So I can't really show you what they are. But this particular one, uh, Toy Story bag, and what's in it was brought from the London Disney store. And it's this little guy. Hello. So it is a gorgeous Mickey plush. And he's dressed as a gorgeous London guard. Look at him. He is so adorable. On the foot it says Disney Store London. And I brought this on the day uh, when I was shopping with Aisha and her husband David. And she was saying to me that this is like a one-off thing that you can only buy at the Disney Store in London. It's like an exclusive thing that they do. So I was like, yes, I'm getting it. And I just thought he was just the most adorable thing ever so this guy he was originally where's the price uh 25 pound usually but uh aisha was a disney life 
member. So with that, it gave me a 10% discount. So I saved £2.50. So altogether, I only paid, he was only uh, £22.50. And then I also got the bag as well. And that was £2. Yeah, around £25 I, I spent in Disney. And I love this guy so much. I'm not really quite sure what I'm going to do with him. I think he's going to have to live in here somewhere with everyone else. Maybe I'll put him up with Buzz or I'm not sure. I just thought he was the coolest, cutest thing and it's all London-y and Mickey and Disney and oh, everything that I love. So happy days. All right. So more stuff that I've got from London. Aisha took me to the big Primark store in London and she took me to the Harry Potter section and, you know, I swooned uh, and brought stuff. So I'm going to, is it bought or brought? I'm sorry if I keep saying the wrong thing. I always have issues with bought and brought. I'm pretty sure I'm like mildly dyslexic. So just, I, I apologize for that. Whenever I say it, please mean that I mean bought, not brought. But I will say it the wrong way. But anyway, this is what I bought from Primark in London. Three quarters of it is Harry Potter stuff and then one other bit is a Disney thing. <laughs> First of all I got this bag. It's like a calico bag with all of the characters on it and it's really big. This bag I paid three pounds which is crazy. It's just so good. That's one of the good things about Primark. They have some really great stuff and it's really cheap. It was amazing. First thing I picked up were some Christmas decorations. I got one with Harry and the Marauders map and this was five pounds. I got some socks because I'm the sock queen and it just has the Hogwarts sort of crest on it in a couple of different colors and this was three pounds. This mug has just is just amazing. It is a Harry mug. <laughs> Look how cool he is. He's huge. I'm actually not going to use this as a as a drinking mug. I'm actually going to use this as like a pen pot on my desk. I've got like a little thing that needs to be replaced. So he's going to live on my desk. And I paid £8 for him. And he has survived through a bag break in the underground. As well as a cruise and two flights. So he is unbreakable. And then finally I got some more tea towels because I love tea towels. These ones are a little bit more, a little bit more fluffier. And they are Disney tea towels with Mickey and Minnie on it and it says London. The other one, it's got Mickey and Minnie with all of the different sort of London icons on it and stuff. Uh, which I thought was really quite cool and I only paid five pounds for this. So we'll add that to you with a pile of tea towels that we've got going on here. But yeah, Primark is great. I wish we had a Primark here in Australia. So continuing on with the Harry Potter theme, we went to the making of Harry Potter studios. We did a, a tour there and it was fantastic. I really, really, really enjoyed it. Unfortunately, because it was, I think it was still uh, school holidays. So there, it was busy. So it was sort of hard to kind of get in and around people and, and really sort of like enjoy the space for what it was. And we only had four, four hours. So it was really quite hard to kind of really like get into everything because there was a lot of stuff there it was a lot a lot a lot of sort of behind the scenes things and like it's such a great place to explore and you really really do need a whole day to do it and unfortunately we didn't but i did really really enjoy it and it's such a great great place to visit if you are a harry potter nut like me i did go into the gift store and i spent some money I'm only going to show you the stuff that I brought for myself. I did buy stuff for my brother, which I've already given to him. But this is just what I got for myself. Okay, so let's start with oh, some of the small things. Magnet. Of course, I had to buy a magnet. And this one is just of the Hogwarts Crest House thingamajiggy. And I paid £6 for this. I bought myself and also my brother a chocolate frog. So this is a milk chocolate frog and I paid £8.95 for each one. I'm actually going to open this now. I'm not going to eat it. So we can see what the frog looks like and also to see what card we've got because each one you get a free wizard and witch's card. You know like they do in the movie, in the book. It's 
the book then the movie hello I just really love the packaging because it's like so genuine to to the movie let's have a look have a look Ooh. so this is the big huge frog that you get in it he's a big one. he's a big solid boy and the card that I got is uh, sucks that I'm not a Gryffindor I mean Pottermore or the Wizarding World website sorted me into the Gryffindor house but I'm a Hufflepuff at heart it is Godric Gryffindor if he wants to focus there we go so that's the collector card that I got Godric Gryffindor is this the universe telling me that I truly am a Gryffindor I'm not brave I'm definitely a Hufflepuff anyway it's <laughs> a first world problem so that is my chocolate frog put him all back together again and I will eat that on a later date with a cup of tea. Okay, next thing that I got was a key ring and it is the time turner. It's Hermione's time turner and it spins all the way around in all the different directions. So this I paid £8.95 and it's actually quite a hefty, heavy key ring. So I'm not sure whether I'm actually going to use this. I'm really scared it's going to break. So, ah, oh, I didn't know that. If you twist the knobbies on the side, it goes all, it does its thing. This thing gets in the way. Look! Whee! Ah, that's cool! Anyway, I got one of these cool flaggy pendendy thingies. I also got my brother one as well, but his says Gryffindor because he's Gryffindor. So these I bought for £10 each. So I put that with all my Harry Potter stuff. And then my big ticket item that I spent the most money on. This is the first thing I saw, saw when I walked into the store. I was like, yes. That's like a good collector's piece to buy um, and and have from the whole experience of going to Harry Potter. And it is a proper Marauders map prop thingy. So it's in this plastic sleeve and you, it actually folds out like the Marauders map does in the movie. Uh, so I thought that was really quite cool. I actually haven't opened this and I don't think I am at the moment because I'm one of those people that was like, don't open it and it'll all, you know, cost more and all that sort of stuff. This was my big ticket item that I brought and I paid £30 for this, which is, you know, equivalent to about $60 Australian. So yes, it was a, a very big purchase, but I'm really, really happy with it. So that's why I'm not really too sure whether I want to open it or not. I just want to sort of want to preserve it and, and just keep it nice in the packaging. So that is what I got from the making of Harry Potter Studio World place. So the next few little things that I'm going to show you is stuff that I got while we were on our cruise. So after we spent a week in London, we did our 12 day cruise on the Crown Princess from uh, Southampton all the way around uh, the British Isles and then back to Southampton again. So these are just a few things that I got at the different ports. Let's start with Guernsey because that was the first place we went. So we went to Guernsey Island. We went to a place called St. Peter's Port. So it's a tiny little island just off of the UK and it's down near France as well. So these are just a few things that I got from their little gift shop at a castle. It's called Castle Cornet. So this is what I got from their little gift store. A magnet. <laughs> I really like the, the style of this one and this one just has St. Peter's Port where we went and Guernsey. I also got a thimble. This one is a Tudor thimble and it's got like the Tudor rose on it. This was three pounds. Skipping up to Belfast in Ireland, we went to the Titanic Museum. It's called the Titanic Experience. We went into the exhibition and yeah, it was really, really interesting. Um, sad as well because, you know, we all know the story of what happened with the Titanic. And Belfast was where it was built, so it's, you know, a big thing there. So I first got the little tote bag calico tote bag from the gift store and I got some chocolate because you know why not another magnet um, and this one is just of the Titanic which I thought was pretty cool and then I got a thimble and this one has the Titanic on it that's actually all I brought from Ireland my mom brought a lot of stuff but that's 
we'll see it. And then when we went to Liverpool, I absolutely loved Liverpool. Liverpool is where my dad is from, or around that area. He's from um, Cheshire, which is just in to the south of Liverpool. A couple of the places we went to, dad recognised and it brought back a lot of memories. And yeah, it was just a really, really lovely day. I think the best, one of the best days we spent was in Liverpool. Where the ship docked at Albert's, Albert Docks. They had a little gift shop for us coming off the, the ship. And so I got this tea. It's called Liverpool Breakfast Tea. It's got like cocoa and caramel and malt and stuff like that so sounded right up my alley. I think I paid five pounds for this or around there. Yeah $5.95 which I thought wasn't that bad and it's just loose leaf tea. And then after doing our hop on hop off bus that sort of focused very heavily on the Beatles we went into the Beatles experience store or the Beatles what's it called? The Beatles the Beatles story store um, that's just there down by the docks it is a store literally just full of Beatles merchandise <laughs> so of course we went in and spent money so I got another little calico bag and this one just says the Beatles story Liverpool I got some socks because I love socks these were five pounds and they just have cartoon versions of the Beatles that side and then on the other side is the other two. I got the best magnet ever. It is of the Beatles crossing Abbey Road. But look, they moved. La 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 la. La 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 la. I just thought it was really cool. So I picked it up. And this one was £5. And then I just picked up a couple of button badges. These were 70p each. Got I Am The Walrus, because that is such a great song. And then Sgt Pepper's Lonely Heart Club Band. Two very, very good Beatles songs. I am the walrus. Cuckoo, cuckoo. The other things that I got in Liverpool were the Disney store for my family. We went to another Calf Kidson store and we also went to the Liverpool One store because my dad and my brother Graham, as well as me, kind of like our household, were tragic Liverpool FC supporters. So, you know, when in the motherland, go to the store. So I got a few things for my brother. Uh, which I've already given to him. So quickly I'm just going to show you the things that I got for my birthday because while I was over there it was my birthday on the 17th of September and my parents got me a few presents so I thought I'd just quickly show you what they are. I got a gorgeous little Hufflepuff prefect badge. This one here. My parents got this for me from Camden Market. I saw them buying something but I don't know what they got but it was this. It says daughter you're a star that wants to focus. There we go. I got this luggage tag from Cal Kidson. Mum got this for me when we went into the London store. As well as a diary for next year. It has all the London icons on it. I love it. And then I also got some nail files that has um, English people icons on it. That's my lovely little birthday gift that I got from my parents. And now finally, um, for the thing that you're all waiting for, maybe, possibly not, is all of the lovely things that I got from Kath Kidston. Okay, it's my beautiful blue Kath Kidston bag and there are some really lovely, lovely goodies in here. So I'm going to start with the things that I got from the London store. So this is the, the flagship store that's in Piccadilly. And I purchased a few things from there. The first thing I got was a one litre water bottle. It has all of the lovely floral print on it. And I love the colour of the, the little lid here. I paid £18 for this. So hopefully it lasts. Next I got just a little uh, lunch sort of bag. Carry bag. What is it called? It's called... Oh, it's got a book bag, but I was thinking I'd use this for work, for lunch and stuff. It just sort of folds out like that. I just thought it was the sweetest little thing, and I absolutely love this print. It is so gorgeous. I think this is one of their, her new prints. It's called Hedge Rose, and I paid £14 for this, and it's like a laminated type thing. That's so cute. I got this card that has the underground sort of portrayed on it. It's got the Queen and a London Guard and a Cat Kissing Bag. I thought that was so cool. 
because we saw this a lot when we were riding the underground and the tube and I thought I'd really love to frame that and put it somewhere here in my room um, because I really love it. So that's what I got from the London store and then when we went to Liverpool I saw a Kath Kizen store on the horizon and I was like oh we gotta go in. So we did. <laughs> Well, I did anyway. I got a few things from the Liverpool store. And unbeknownst to me, apparently when you spend £40 or more, you get another 20% off. So I saved, which I'm very happy about. So this is the stuff that I got from the Liverpool store. I got two pairs of socks. I got this one with the London Guards on it. This was £6.50. And another pair, same price, with just the flowers on it. I got another card. This one just has a beautiful blue water sort of illustration of London. I love this print. This has been on a lot of things that she's done. I paid £2.50 for this card as well as the other one. I purchased another little fob watch key ring. Is that what it's called? Fob? A key fob. And this again is in the same print as my little bag as well as the luggage tag that my mum got me for my birthday. It was all a big coincidence. I just didn't really realise that it was all matching and, and stuff. I got a new phone case for my phone. I love this print. I love this colour. It's just very much an in, an in colour at the moment. Mustard is everywhere. This one was £16. Obviously I didn't pay that because it was 20% off but that's just what it says on them. The last thing I got was a pen and this has like different London icons on it and I think this is a twisty one. Yeah it's a twisty one so you twist it and it comes out. I actually don't know what colour it is. I usually only like to use black pens and it's black yes so this was seven pounds which is a bit hefty for a pen but you know as you do and then when we were in Heathrow waiting to come home lo and behold there was a Kath Kids in store in Heathrow I was like I just was like one last one last little <laughs> one last little splurge one last little spend you know in my most favorite store ever so I got two more things and that's everything these are the last two things that I got while I was in the UK first one is something that we've needed for our kitchen for a while and it's new oven mitts hello hello and this one has all of the different London icons on it again you'd never think that I'd love London huh and this one because it was the airport, it was duty free. On the high street, it's usually 16 pounds. This one was uh, a little over 13 pound that I paid. So I'm very happy with that. And we can use this in our kitchen now. And then because, you know, I don't have enough bags, I bought this little fold away shopper bag with all of the London icons on it. So it's the same print as my diary. And it's just one of these little uh, foldy, bags that you put in your handbag when you need one. On the high street it's usually £8 but at the airport it was £6.67p. So yeah that's what I got. Um, I didn't want to get anything too big because I was really quite limited with my hand luggage space so that's what we got. And if you're still here at the end of all things thank you so much. I'm aware of how long this video is. I've stopped and started this this video about three or four times so thank you very much for sticking to the end with me I very much could have spent a lot more and brought a lot more no bought a lot more but I was really quite conscious of of space and weight uh, in, for my luggage but apart from that I'm really happy with everything that I got I try to get a lot of things that would remind me of the places that we went and things that were practical that I could use I mean, magnets are practical, tea towels are practical, socks are practical, oven mitts are practical. So I tried my best. I am so excited to head back to the UK one day. I absolutely loved it over there and yeah, I just, it's just made me 
really really happy so thank you again very much for watching this video I really hope that you enjoyed watching uh, not only my vlogs but also this little haul of the things that I got so until next time thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you again another time very very soon bye